eneo lenye mandhari ya kuvutia la Shalivua yapata kilomita 154 kutoka jiji la Quebec hapa nchini Canada Viongozi wa mataifa saba yenye uwezo mkubwa wa kiuchumi ulimwenguni wanakutana hapa kwa kikao chao cha 44 ukipenda G7 Viongozi wa Canada, Ufaransa, Ujerumani, Italia, Japan, Uingereza na Marekani wanakutana kujadilia ajenda tano kuu. Ajenda ya uwekezaji wa ustawi wa kila mmoja, swala la usawa wa kijinsia na haki kwa wanawake, hatua za kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa ulimwenguni, njia ya kutumia na kulinda rasilimali ya baharini yani blue economy, uzalishaji wa kawi safi na ya kisasa na njia ya kuafikia amani na usalama ulimwenguni. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni mmoja wa viongozi wanne wa bara la Afrika waliowalikwa hapa kutokana na rekodi yake bora ya kuchangia pakubwa katika kuafikia hatua hizi za G7 nyumbani na katika mataifa kadhaa ya bara la Afrika. Uh, he has been invited and accepted to uh, participate. You know this is one of the most exclusive uh, meeting of uh, global leaders, seven of them. Um, to really discuss uh, broad global challenges that are affecting humanity they convene once a year and you'll also recall that the president was one of the invited guests to the last G7 in Italy is a big issue around climate change oceans and clean energy very important for us You know we are building uh, the momentum for the world in terms of the area of ocean and the blue economy. We will be um, this year alone uh, hosting two very important conferences, the Maritime Economists Conference in Mombasa in September, but also in November 26-28 we'll be co-hosting the Blue Economy Conference. We are co-hosting this conference with the Canadian government. Uh, we are seeking out other governments to also help us to co-sponsor this conference and so beyond the discussions on the thematic substantive areas on blue economy which we shall be listening very carefully to in terms of helping us shape this agenda we are also going to have meetings and consultations with the Canadian government who are our co-sponsors on the blue economy and so it is this leadership that uh, uh, makes it possible for Kenya to take a place of pride in a meeting such as the G7.